All right, in this video, I wanna cover how to create a new program and how to use and manipulate the stock geometry. When we draw a program that we've written, we are able to look at it as a solid model rendering in the graphics screen. And if we don't set up any stock geometry, the control will create a piece of stock a little bit bigger than whatever it is we're doing. But if we wanna dial that in to really look like what our part's gonna look like when we get done, then we wanna do that stock geometry. So that's an important piece that we wanna cover. But first we want to start a new program. So the way we do that is we click on the file cabinet icon and that brings us to the program manager screen. On the machine you would hit the input button followed by the program manager soft key and that would take you to the same place. So this is where we're going to see all the programs that are open in the in the program manager or in the foreground memory. And to create a new one we literally click on the uh, button new here. We select conversational or NC, whatever kind of new program we want to create, we're going to do conversational. And that's going to create a no name, number, whatever number is next in the list. So you can see here I already had a no name one that was open, so it created a no name two. A couple other things you'll see. Once I've saved a program, it's going to have a path. That path is where it's located on the hard drive. So it would have the the file folders and so forth of where you have that um, that file saved and you see a little exclamation point here as soon as you've changed at least one character in the program of a program you've opened or just created it will put that little exclamation point there which tells you that something has been changed since it was opened or since it was created so it's a visual reference that something's been has been uh, changed now we, have a, we may have a whole list of programs that are open here, and the way that we switch to the programs that we want to be active, the one that we're actually running or editing, is we literally click and highlight it. So if I were to click on No Name 1 here, it becomes a highlighted program, and if you look down here in the bottom left corner, it'll tell you which program is active. Again, that's the one that you're running, that's the one that you're editing. Also on this screen, we can open existing programs by clicking on open. It would allow me to go out and find those. We can save them. If you just hit save, if it's a program that's been saved before, it'll just override the original that you had. It would just save it over the last uh, known path. If I wanted to save it as something different, I would click on save as. And that allows me to rename it, pick a different location, and it would create a copy, if you will, of that. And then last, we have the close, which is where we can close all the programs or just whatever program happens to be selected. So those are the, those are the uh, soft keys that we'll use most in here in Program Manager. The others have some very specific uses. Um, these are the ones where um, we'll be using for every, everything we do here in uh, the training series. Now, as far as stock geometry, if I click on this little Cartesian coordinate system here, the part setup, icon. It takes me to my part setup screen. The part setup screen is where I'm going to set up the part to run once I'm ready to cut this on the machine. But if I hit the little more F7 key here, the soft key is on the side of the control, it will bring up another menu with stock geometry. So I click on stock geometry and this is where I can determine what my stock is. It's either going to be a box, a cylinder, or I can load in an STL file to use that as my stock geometry for secondary operations, castings, and things like that. In all of the programs we're gonna do in the beginning of this series, <clears throat> we're gonna talk about a box. So I'm gonna select box. I'm gonna say that yes, I wanna manually size it. If I don't, again, the control will just create something bigger than whatever it is that I'm trying to program. And as long as I have yes to manually size you in the stock, I'm gonna get these fields here in the bottom left corner. And this is the size of the material that's going to be shown on the screen. So I'm going to put six inches by six inches by one inch for the stock. Now, if we look at this little in, this little image right here, it shows that the front left corner of the stock is going to be referenced as zero. So if I draw real quick, you can see that indeed the front left corner is what it thinks zero is. I've got a six by six by one piece of stock here and the front left corner is zero. If I want to move that, that's what these pos 
uh, reference positions are for. So I'm going to put in uh, negative 3 inches and negative 3 inches for my x and y, and I'm going to put a positive 0.1 for my z. It's important to remember we cannot move 0. We can only move the stock around 0. So that's why we have a negative value here. I'm actually taking this stock, moving it negative in x and negative in y. And what that's going to do then is put my zero point right in the middle of that material. You'll also see that because I put a positive one in the z, I've lifted it up. Maybe I was going to ma machine a hundred thousands off of this piece of stock. You can see that my z reference is actually below the surface. Just real quick, if I were going to just work on the back left corner, which is uh, very common, I would put something like this in. I'm just going to move the stock negative six inches from where it was, leaving x alone. And you can see that now it's the back left corner is our zero point. So hopefully that helps, uh, helps you with stock geometry and creating new programs. Um, again, we're going to do this probably with every program that we write going forward, beginning with the first programming uh, video in this series.